Never at this point, we all know now how aircraft carrier landings work. You know, you have this F 14 contact, as I like to say, and look at the tail hook that's already out here. And can you see these arrestor cables here on the aircraft carrier deck that will then engage into the tail hook and then make a stop and stuff? Yes, yes. All right. There you go. Yes, there we go. We stopped in no time once again. Yes, you can see the arrestor cables. This has been an absolutely perfect landing there. Again, yep, there we go. Tail caught the cable. Here we go. And here we're now attached to the aircraft carrier. We can, now that we're done landing, we can now um, disengage the tail hook here. We can just put that up here. Yes, yeah, slowly coming up. The cable is releasing. And then we're off to go already, perhaps, for a catapult start. You know, after all, the deck of this aircraft carrier is as short as the shortest runways of this world. Way too short for actual F-14s to fly here. So, of course, we need a little helper here as well. Let me do the catapult system. Does that work, please? Yeah, there we go. Full power. And then release brakes to launch. Absolutely perfect. Yes, they've recently added the aircraft carrier to the flight simulator so that it actually works properly. I mean, we had it before, but it's never been this good with the arrestor cable system. And now it actually is working. And I had the idea. You know, we have fighter jets with this tail hook system, but what about putting a tail hook to a normal airplane that so we could land it on an aircraft carrier? And so that's something I have done, everybody. Let me introduce you to a special version of the Cessna Citation X. Here we can see a little hook that when I press the hook button, it actually comes down. I didn't really perfect the animation that much, but everybody, it actually does work. So let's land it on an aircraft carrier, no problem whatsoever. Yes, here we go. This is, you know, in theory, definitely works. This stop mechanism. I mean, why wouldn't it? You know, it's, all it does is catch the arrestor cables. What's funny is that the aircraft come carrier left. actually gives us instructions. Come left. come left. Do I have to come left come a little left. bit? It does treat us like a proper plane that belongs on the deck here. The good thing is that the citation jet is a bit slower even than the fighter jets. So this is actually totally, completely easy. I have no issues with this. So come on, let's stop. That, there we go. We got caught in the arrestor cable system. And there we go. This has perfectly worked very well. I mean, okay, our plane's a bit very broken. But that's not the story. All right, yeah, come on. Let's watch the skin here. Yes, there we go. All right, I mean, it didn't really get caught on the actual tail hook. Um, I kind of didn't really develop this one properly. And it also might be the reason why this plane has completely has lost its tail. That's probably the biggest problem of landing planes like this here. They're just way too fragile. The forces that work up on that landing gear here now with this very, very hard landing, I don't really want to know. This is perfectly working though anyway. Um, great. But I mean, we can try another plane. How about the Concorde here? You know, this is actually a really quick thing to develop here. Um, we can see all the, uh, you know, animations that happen in this plane here in the plane maker. This is really easy genuinely. First of all, let's add the actual object of this tail hook. I've genuinely just stolen that from the ancient F-18 plane that was on the X-Plane.org. Yeah, let's just add a new object here and add this new hook here. This is what I, by the way, love about X-Plane especially compared to Microsoft. It's so easy to just make your own plane. Here you go. Let's maybe see we can already see that hook and we can already see that it's actually it can move all right so let's maybe put it somewhere here in the tail section of this plane maybe something like right here this might be a little bit small of a thing but that's another story here this is totally great now this hook here is only visual we of course now have to add our proper tail hook that will actually stop our plane maybe make it a long nice tail hook here looking absolutely perfect so let's go ahead and take this thing for a bit of a spin here yes but me let's go ahead and try a landing indeed we can already see our little guy here it might be a bit undersized we might have just crashed also all right i'm not quite sure why but the concord just won't work for me why doesn't it all right here we go we're a bit fast, but that doesn't matter too much. After all, these cables will stop us anyway, as long as they're caught. Ah! That clearly hasn't worked. There we go. We completely overshot that. I mean, we've got a very undersized thingy in the back indeed. Come on. Try again, please. Try again. Okay, come on. Concentration time. Ah! Oh my god. Yes! That definitely worked! That was the perfect landing. Great. Right, yeah, let's take a look at that one. That was good. So this is what happened here. We kind of crashed on the aircraft carrier deck. But we can tell then 
Oh, that was really bad. We can, oh, did you see that landing gear? We can tell that, there we go, the arrestor cables actually were caught by the little guy, and so we stopped. This definitely worked. I have nothing to complain. Okay, we might want to do this properly. Yeah, this plane is a bit hard to land here as well. It's just, you know, the speed. This plane is relatively fast. This is definitely not easy. Let me, come on, let's try this again. All right, here we go. And with all my concentration here, we've got the engines running. Everything's here. Everything should work. It's probably the flight model that's a bit fucked. Oh, no! Completely weird off the side! God damn it! Great, thank you very much! Let's try again, perhaps. Yes. That uh, might have overdone it as well. Yeah, if you're landing as fast as the Concorde needs to, which is like nearly 100, 200 knots, I think it just breaks the plane because of the fish. Check this out. This was not even like, this was not even too hard. I, I kind of tried my best here just to get caught in the arrestor cables and just um, like that, it crashed the plane. Even the flight simulator was like, no, that's not going to work. I'm pretty sure you could land this plane here, but I have no patience to. We need a bit of a simpler plane. Honestly, I don't, I don't care about crashing anymore. I don't want to. I don't care to crash. No, we shall try another one. I mean, I, I, I don't think I mean I'd modified the A330, which might be an interesting one to try. I mean, this is definitely. I mean, really, but just definitely will break the cables off. But come on, this is not stopping me from landing this anyway. Something I'm trying to do now is actually try to land a bit faster now as well. There we go. Nothing to be worried about. We're at 180 knots. Yeah, there we go. Yes! That was on first try. We've completely buttered the butter. We know it wasn't the butter landing, but we've, we've, we've landed the butter machine. I am very much happy with how this has gone. Here we go. Let me check this out once again. Boom, butter machine. There we go. Landed nicely on the aircraft carrier deck. And just like that, this totally worked. I mean, the wing flex is crazy here. You know, as an operator here on the aircraft carrier bridge, I wouldn't worry at all about the, the actual wing that's completely split the whole bridge in half. Oh, no, actually not. Did it, did it hit the bridge? That's something that we shall investigate now. Would this have completely damaged the aircraft carrier? I'm not even quite sure if it could handle the weight, the deck. Oh, 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 that was so close from literally crashing into that thing. But there we go, we didn't. That was absolutely perfect. I very much am happy with all of this. And of course, all these planes are completely compatible for a cannibal launch here. Oh, first of all, okay, we need to disengage here. There we go, I've done that now. You can see the cable running back. Yeah, 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 nothing to be worried about. Well, let's go ahead and set up on the catapult system. Oh no, I've, I've not meant to do that. I've completely... Kill it herself. We can uh, here spawn through the menu as well. There we go. Nothing to be worried about. Let's go ahead and now go full power and release the brakes to launch, which will probably work. There we go. Release brakes now. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay. That's definitely not worked at all. This plane's made me a bit too big. One plane that definitely has worked very well so far is the Citation X. I think that's very suitable for an aircraft carrier. I mean, it's not that much larger than any plane that's landed here. I mean, we talk about the C-130 here. Come on, let's take off here. Yep, there we go. We can see the catapult running us off here now. That's gone pretty damn well. We're fast enough to actually come to a flight. Everybody, watch a project. In theory, it is now completely possible to land any plane on an aircraft carrier thanks to this video. We're gonna land this from outside view. It's that easy. I mean, all you have to do is just completely like smash the plane down. All right, there we go. Nothing to be worried about. Even from outside view, this is no problem whatsoever. There we go, we caught it. The tail strike might be a problem, but there we go. No issues at all. So everybody, thank you so much for watching this aircraft carrier video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Wellhausen, Knots Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.